How does it make you feel if I just, you ever seen Legally Blonde? Just a little bend and snap. Port, porter, porter. Nah, she came. She knew what she wanted to do, bruh. She's tough. First and foremost, she's tough. This, this is fitting her body expeditiously, like, it just objectively look good, skin looking good. <laughs> she looks fucking amazing, bruh. She looks fucking amazing. This makeup looks, like, I feel like, see, this is what it's supposed to look like when you have makeup. A lot of y'all be wearing makeup and y'all don't look better with makeup. Uh, mainly because a lot of y'all look good already. And the makeup makes you look worse or it adds absolutely nothing or makes you look clownish. This right here is like you can tell she has makeup in the eyes, but everywhere else, you can't really tell. Elite look. Elite. Port, porter. Porter. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that shit poking, bro. Fuck. Hello. Hi. My name is Isla. I am 25 years old. My name is Michael. I am currently 27 years old. Do you know what you're doing today? I believe I'm guessing who. Oh shit, this nigga again, bro. This nigga, I will never ever forget this nigga, bro. I will never ever forget him, bro. God bless him, bro. God bless him. God bless him. I reacted to this nigga like over a year ago. I had a, I had a MacBook. I had a whole different setup. Niggas could see like the whole part of my room. I remember this nigga back in the day, bro. Back in the day, bro. This nigga staying true to this, bro. He's true. He's he's true to this. Not new to this, bro. He was in these streets a while ago. He's still out here. Me and him really the same. We both out here still grinding. He's still trying to find the bitches. I'm still trying to blow up on the two. You know what I'm saying? And he looks better than last time. And so does my, you know what I'm saying? Nah, man. It's good to, you know what I'm saying? When you've been doing something for a long time, it's good to see people that were still doing what they were doing that's still doing what they're doing now. You get what I'm saying? It's just good to see, man. I'm happy to see you, man. I hope life has been good. I hope God is blessing him. Who and who is not a virgin? Yes. Are you a virgin? Yes. Tell me more. He's still Pretty looking. Girls make me nervous. My dad was a Nah, pastor, he's better though. So losing my virginity was like kind of a big deal, but I loved my partner at the time so much. I was like, for love. And? And then we broke up. How can you spot somebody who's a virgin? A homebody, an uh, introvert. Super conservative, maybe like some really thick glasses. Or you have the hottie who's an undercover weirdo. You know, originally I was like, if I had a whiteboard, I would create like a diagram of like a vagina and like, you know, the surrounding area and be like, where's the clit? But then I realized even experienced men don't know where the hell the clit is. So I don't think that's it's gonna true. work. That's true. You ready for the line? I hope so. All right, come on in folks. See a fellow mullet in the crew. <clears throat> Who looks the most like a virgin back there? Uh, I don't even care to guess. Uh, that guy on the right, I guess, just going by appearance. Uh, silver chain and brown uh, cardigan. They look confident, but also reserved and um, not easy. Come not on down, easy. the price is right. <laughs> Her Hello, shit is poking. Name? Anita, nice to meet Hi, you. Anita. Love your outfit. You're so pretty. Thank Love you. She is so pretty. so pretty. Right off the bat, all these compliments and stuff. She's You're giving pretty. it's not your first time. A little smooth talker. What are some of your hobbies? I belong to the symphony. I go to the ballet. What do you do for work? I am a bartender and a policy analyst. Is this a good looking dude? Yeah, you know, I'm not attracted to them. I do think you're a little handsome. Oh, thank you. A little bit, though. Yeah. <laughs> Do looks right. matter? It couldn't hurt. Can you twirl for me? See, bro, this is your problem. This is why you're not getting the bitches. See, we've getting better, but we're not all the way there, bro. Do looks matter? Do looks matter, bro? Looks are so fucking important, bro. Looks, I'm not, they're not more important than integrity and character and all of these fucking things that really matter. But looks are so important, bro. Your presentation and your appearance and looks matter to the umph degree, bro. If you are ugly, like, like if you are disheveled and not taking care of yourself, like not only like that represents who you are, bro. Niggas are not thinking about it like that. It's like, oh, looks don't really matter. It's just looks. No, how you look is a representation of your lifestyle and how you take care of yourself and your confidence and what you think of yourself and the things that you do on a daily basis and your level of importance. If you are obese, 
That means you are not taking care of yourself physically. Your your eating is all fuck the like if you're a fucking obese, fuck the exercise, bro. Your eating is all. If you're not getting water, you're not eating, you're not sleeping right. Your diet is off. If your skin and your face is dis- and your hair is disheveled, that doesn't mean you take like looks are so important, bro. They matter so much. It couldn't hurt. They Can matter a lot. Really fancy, like oh, there we go. Oh, Drew is not a virgin. Tell me why. Hey, yo. I don't know. There's a confidence about him, you know? Like, there's a confidence in Drew. You come off, like, very open, confident, like, a little smooth talker. You you maybe have been around the block once, twice. I don't know how many times. But definitely not a virgin. Being a bartender, uh, looking the way you do, I don't think you are a virgin. I'm going to guess he's a virgin. Just really based on how he sounds and how he, like, brings himself up, I, I just feel like he's just waiting for the right girl. OK. Maybe he is. How do you know this? Are y'all assuming that this nigga likes girls? I, I, based on the way he's moving, I did not get the assumption that he likes girls. I do not get that assumption whatsoever. Oh, 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 I didn't ask. <laughs> What's your sexual orientation? Uh, I'm a fruit. Yeah, no, not, not girls. What's a fruit? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why y'all niggas assume that he liked girls. I don't know what would, what about... These tight ass pants or just not, nothing about his demeanor gave immediately straight. Nothing about it gave straight. Now, if he would have been like, nah, I'm straight, I'd be like, okay. My gaydar is going off. I'd like, so it would have been a contradiction. Like, mm, okay, you say you're straight. I, I'll take your word for it. Just my gaydar is going off. So, you know, cool. You know, it's not, it, regardless, it's nothing but love at the end of the day. I don't, I don't care. It's nothing but love. But yeah. <laughs> That brings back, he is not a virgin. Um, like, no, res- no, no disrespect to the community. Um, so because I'm gay, you think I'm not a virgin? Mm. As bad as that sounds, yes. I really think you're not a virgin. Wow. wow. Is that, uh, uh, next person. is that offensive? Like, would somebody in the LGBTQIA plus community be offended by that? The alphabet gang, would y'all be offended by that? Like, if somebody looked at you and thought you were straight and you said, oh, no, you're a virgin. Like, I guess it means that, like, gay people are more sexually active. I don't know. Some please. Look how sweet he is. Angelic. I'm getting virgin vibes. Yeah. Like, it's the baby face. Are you in or are you going to go to college? Uh, I'm actually graduating this spring. So, yeah, you're year. still in high school. No, I'm a third year in college. Oh, shit. So you're not that young. Okay. You're graduating? I am. Excuse me. Did you do a running start? Oh, you're smart. You're smart. There we go. Definitely not getting pussy yet. <laughs> you're too busy studying. Cap. That's cap. That's not how that works. That's not necessarily how that works, bro. Look at the fit. You know what I'm saying? The shoes are dirty, but uh, white niggas can pull off dirty feet. It's okay for white niggas to pull off dirty feet. The shirt is clean. Is You know what I'm saying? The, you know what I mean? The skin is cool. He has a nice deep voice cool cadence i don't i don't i think you i think you misguessing him right here man i think you and he a smart nigga bro and he's not one of those sweet he's not one of those weird smart niggas like who borderline like who need to get tested for being on the spectrum like he's smart in a way that's just like he's smart in life like he just know like he just he's book smart and he just socially smart i could tell oh are you uh, in any frats I am, yes. God damn it, he's not a virgin, like straight up. He probably had beer for breakfast. We hold my hands. Do you feel nervous? No. How does it make you feel if I just, you ever seen Legally Blonde? Just a little bend and snap. Por- her por- shit is poking, bro. Look at this. Look at her back. Bro, it, bro, is this gotta be a girdle, actually. You know, actually looking at it, this doesn't really look real. Because you see this little tiny part right here. This looks like where the girdle ends at. Because if her arch is really arching like that with the with the bunda like that. But look at this. Look at this. This is, this is out of, if her shit really looked like that. Which I'm sure it's not. Like, I can tell. This is not really a human body. This is not a human back. This is not a human back right here. So, she got the girdle on. She look good. I ain't gonna lie. But, you know, after further observation and speculation, we've come to the conclusion that this is not real. I'm sure it still looks great. But, you know. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, 
I, there's, there's no need for me to be looking down there. Mm. Now, if we were dating, how would that make you feel? Would you be more comfortable looking? Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, that changed up quick. <laughs> okay, not a virgin. All right, what's your name? Brittany. What's your relationship with your dad like? Yo, this nigga's a savage, bro. This nigga is a fucking savage. He's a savage, bro. This nigga is a fucking savage. Like, immediately, like, you're not asking where you from. Like, these are just, like, you can tell, like, he might have a little autism to him. And I'm not, like, I might be a little bit on the spectrum, too, because, like, socially, I'm a little bit, like, I don't know. I'm not really here to fight against that, whatever. If I am, I am. But, like, just the shit, like, oh, hey, what's your name? Oh, where you from? Okay, woody boo like, oh, what's your, like, we already know where you going, bruh. We already know where you going. You on BT, bruh. <laughs> He's on BT. I'm sorry. Cut off guard. Yeah. Um, non-existent. Whore. Have you ever been in a relationship? Whore. No. Do you go on dates often? No, not often. No. Okay. She's giving me really reserved <laughs> emotions and personality. <laughs> I think she's a virgin and she might be a woman of God. Are you a woman of God? I am. Okay. She's a virgin. Based entirely off what you told me, I would assume that you are not a virgin. I've heard people with mommy or daddy issues uh, sometimes try to sleep away the pain. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Ishelle. Ishelle? Mm -hmm. oh, pretty name. Thank you. Ishelle, that's exotic. What's your background? What's your ethnicity? Um, half German, half Mexican. The look is giving like punk rock but cutesy. You're giving yeah. like fun. Yeah. yeah. The combat boots, I don't know why that matters to me, but I'm like, confidence. <laughs> Give me a there we go. <laughs> I'm not saying that virgins are not confident, but there's a different kind of as a former virgin, yeah, you know, like, so. I know what yeah. I was like, <laughs> yeah, pre-coitus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a virgin. Okay. I'm just gonna go with my gut feeling that she's not a virgin because anybody in a relationship with her would love to do the deed. <laughs> You're saying so. that she's attractive. You yeah, I'm saying okay. she's attractive. Definitely not a virgin. Definitely the freaky one here. Okay. Yeah. I like. Look that. at her, just holly jolly. <laughs> like, yeah, I'll take it, and I am. So what? Hello. Hi. Tennis. See, socks and sandals. Don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Is that what the kids- Bro, what are you saying, bro? Or niggas really get the heat in your shit, bro. Like, what are you saying? Nah, I mean, at least he got shoes on, though. But his hair looks fucking crazy, though. You know what I'm saying? Your hair looks bad, bro. You could definitely do a lot more with this. See, socks and sandals. I guess that could be his look, like a grunt. Bitch is like grungy. Bitch is like any kind of nigga, though. Like, any kind of nigga that you are, there's a bitch that likes that type of nigga, bro. There's bitches who like golf, emo, you know, grungy, like kind of like hair covering half the face type of niggas, like rawr, those type of niggas, bruh. You, bitches like niggas who street niggas, bitches like niggas who's quiet and like shy, you know what I mean? So I think the only, the only thing that really matters, I feel like the thing that matters the most when attracting females is hygiene one hygiene is probably the most important thing i ain't never met a girl who was like oh yeah i like musty niggas never met a girl who said yeah like i like when a nigga kind of stink i don't really I haven't really ran into that and then i would say two is probably confidence i guess so sandals don't know how i feel about that so if you have 10 out of 10 hygiene which is very much in your control and 10 out of 10 confidence which is also in your control you could do a lot with that. Is that what the kids call slides nowadays? <laughs> what yeah, are those, Sam? <laughs> That's confidence in itself, though. <laughs> I don't know. Who She's getting with? cooked. I live with my family. Like, at home home? Mm -hmm. Are your parents strict? You used to be really strict. I kind of pushed the boundary. You do? Do you believe in a higher power? I do believe in some higher power. I don't know what the hell the nails mean. That's a little mature. Her nails are, you in are a relationship pretty. Right now? Mm -mm. Have you ever been in one? Nope. You give me like LA vibes, like just and like the way you talk to just like I feel like she's coming down from a hangover right now, and she's gonna wild out like this weekend. I'm gonna say she's not a virgin. I'm gonna say not a virgin. See, I'm going to assume that maybe you are a virgin, just based off your uh, religion and uh, still living with your parents, that it might be difficult. But then again, you know, a lot of people are just religious. When
Mm -mm. For a girl, if a girl wants to have sex, it's gonna happen. Now, if it's a nigga, a nigga live at home, okay. Uh, okay, you know, you living at home might have deterred some pussy. Ain't no nigga ever said, oh, she live at home? I'm not trying to fuck that. Doesn't happen. So her living at home is, I guess if her parents are strict, maybe that, I guess that can get in the way, I guess. But if she want it, bro, it's going to happen, bro. Let's keep it buck. When it's convenient, so. Oh. What are you studying in university, assuming that you're going? Not business. Business? I was in business and I was a little slut. I was a little slut. Hey, whoa, whoa. Business and I was a little slut. I was a little slut. What? Not a virgin. Hi, nice to meet you. The glasses say a little bit virgin. The mustache says not. I think with that mustache, she is not a virgin. Look, girls love that shit. What do you do for fun? I love rock climbing, being in the outdoors. I like video games, movies. I like Dungeons and Dragons. Oh no. I'm sorry. You lost me at Dungeons and Dragons. Is that a giveaway? <laughs> it's giving me yeah. not touching tips. I do not think you are a virgin. Really? Yeah, you have some pretty social hobbies. Question, are you straight? Yes, I'm straight. Now the mustache is really saying pussy. Like, it's really giving like Top Gun Maverick. You're not a virgin, I swear to God. You're trying to act shy, but I feel like after 5.15 p.m., that's blue ribbon cans all over the house. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Luke. All right, show of hands, who did Mark guess correct? None of them, oh. that's impossible. You got everyone wrong. I mean, I guess you could have known when you said, I don't think you're a virgin. And the nigga said, really? I mean, that could have been a giveaway, understandably. Oh, I got two. Oh, you know, 50-50. You know, that's how I live life, you know? Oh, I guess, right? Okay, so you are. And you are? <laughs> and you are? Well, shit. That was really Let's talk Hi. about it. So are you a virgin? I am. Holy shit. <laughs> ah, I knew I should have went with my gut feeling. He's, he seems like he can get it, but he's trying to gate it, you know, so. I don't know if you've noticed, but most men our age leave a great deal to be desired. What did, wait, wait, wait. My English just like turned off. What, what did he say? What? He said men are trash. Oh, okay, that's what I thought, but it just sounded too polite. All right. <laughs> are you interested in sex at all? I mean, yeah, I've got a sex drive just like everyone else, but, okay. you know. What do you consider losing your virginity or having sex? A horizontal tango, beast with two backs, laid up. Where do you come up? Where do you come up with this language, bro? Like, nah, this nigga gotta read, bro. This nigga gotta read, bro. This nigga said, men today leave a lot to be desired. Beast with two backs, horizontal dancing. This nigga's in his bag, in his vocab bag, bro. The time he's not having sex or chasing men or women, he's reading, bro. He's learning, bro. Look at the drip. Look at the drip. This is like, uh, this is not my personal style, but this is a this is a look that is more than respectable, bro. The pants, you know, is a certain look. The rolled up, and he know how to roll up the sleeves in a way that's compy. The hair looks pretty good. Lips are a little bit chapped, you know. The shirt looks cool, tucked into the, you know what I mean? The shoes is, like, that's a respectable look for sure, bruh. So he's a he's up here with it. Up with these terms. <laughs> Who is a beast with two backs? That's Shakespeare. Okay. So this is where the smoothness comes from. Okay. Okay, so you are not a virgin. I'm not. Fuck. See, you never can tell. I told you that nigga not a virgin, bro. Look at the, look at the, look at the, bro. Niggas that wear chains are not virgins, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Niggas that wear chains, like the little soft chain right here, this right here, them niggas are not virgins, bro. I'm telling you that for a fact, bro. Dumb niggas, they know what they trying to do, bro. They have a goal. They trying to accomplish that shit. A player? Uh... I feel like there's been times that I have been. That's something a player would say. Fortunately, I don't yeah. think I've made any kids yet. You don't know if you have. I feel like I would have been contacted by now. Probably. How freaky would you say you are? Mm, eight. Eight? What puts you on the eight? Oh. Are you doing it or you want it done to you? I'm doing it. 
Okay. To each their own. I am a virgin. Do you have any advice trying to help me out here? Bro, look, 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 look. Okay, look, look, look. To each their own. Okay, let's just, okay. If you're this guy, right? Let's just take a step back, right? Before you even ask this nigga any questions, bro, let's just, let's just, let's just assess the situation. Right, his hey, you you gotta you gotta have a look, bro. He has a look. He has a chain. He he knows how to dress. So you know, if you're just looking at what he has relative to what you have, based on what you can see, get a style, get a look, get some, you know, get fix his hair, fix your skin, invest money, and in, you know, trying to fix your teeth, make them white and straight as much as possible. Um, you know, get a look. Learn how to dress. Learn how to dress. And, you know, max out your looks. Get good skin, get good hair, get good teeth, get a look. That's step one. You don't need all these tips coming from all different ways, bro. Pause. You need to focus on one thing at a time. And if you don't can't afford that, then boom. Figure it out. Get some money about you. Get some motion. Figure out what you're talented at. What are you gifted? What are you talented at? And go after that. And make money from that. Boom. Now you got money to invest in this, invest in that. Get in shape, bro. He's probably in a little, he's a little bit taller than you, but you know, his build looks a little bit better than yours. Like if y'all both took off your shirt, it probably looked like he would be in better shape. Okay, now you get in shape. There's there's fundamental foundational things when it comes to attracting women that you could easily work on, bro. So before you ask these questions, bro, just be an observer, bro. Be a learner. Be a learner. I am a virgin. Do you have any advice trying to help me out here? You do you have any like social things you like going out or anything? <laughs> no. I would suggest dating apps then. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. Cook your shit. So I was right. Yes. I mean, obviously, I mean, that's good advice too. like put yourself in social situations to where you can actually meet girls. I would say is I you know what to be fair I think that's as important if not more important than the shit that I said. I guess it just depends on what you want. Do you want like do you want cuz for me I would say that I'm in a position where like I'm not attracting the type of girls that I want but I am I am attracting something. So if you're just trying to like if you're if you're just willing to knock down anything and you're and you have been able to do that that means that you're probably not going out enough. You're not meeting enough people. Because odds are you meet enough people, somebody going to want to fuck you, bro. Somebody's going to want to fuck you. Right? I guess if you want to get to the point where, like, if you see a girl and you want her to be attracted to you, then I feel like what I said probably is more, you know, whatever. But if you're just trying to get something, you're just trying to get a taste, a little sample of something, and ain't got to really be all that, I kind of agree with what he said. Okay, so you are waiting until marriage? Yes. Oh, shit. So is it religious-based or just your personal beliefs? I want to wait till marriage because I promised God I would, but okay. also because I think personally you shouldn't have sex with multiple people. It's too much of an intimate and physical and emotional thing yeah. to do with too many people. You ever been to a candy shop, an ice cream store? There's so many flavors. How do you know that that's your flavor? I don't think that we should taste humans like ice cream or like try them out <laughs> mm. not in that way i mean if it's your she's talking though nah she's talking though she really talks she really says something to her like she gonna go home at night with her bonnet on wear all her makeup off for her most in her most vulnerable state she gonna take the she gonna take that uh that uh that, that girdle off you know that waist trainer whatever i don't know why i called it a girdle whatever she gonna take that waist trainer them clothes them eyelashes she gonna wipe off them eyebrows because they don't really exist She's going to put that bonded on. She's going to lay down. And she's going to think about that. Like, damn, have I been trying these men? Like, all that ice cream. Like, she's going to really reflect on the decisions that she's made in her life. Because somebody told her that foolishness. Somebody told her that. And she was like, yes. Somebody told her that. And she, and she really thought that niggas ate when they said that. But they didn't eat, bro. They did not eat nothing, bro. Like, the plate is still very full. There's, very, there's a lot to be desired, bro. As it pertains to that statement comparing niggas to ice cream like come on bruh come on let's be serious the person taste them all you want but taste the rainbow like, come on have you went far with a guy before before like actually yeah. in a course okay no i didn't go but i was like almost there what made you stop in, during that moment just god shining his light on you hey stop <laughs> 
It was two things. It was Imagine. that, and then I was on my lady week, so I was like, no. Ah. <laughs> it was a good thing, though, because I think uh. it would have ruined what I want to do. Ah, uh, that's so. true. Blood gets messy. <laughs> so you are a virgin. I am, yeah. All right, any particular reason? Um, I just... I could see her being... I could definitely see her being a virgin. I didn't really guess, because I didn't really care to guess, but I definitely could see her being a virgin. She definitely has that type of energy in my opinion I, I i don't know why i just feel like yeah when high school i just wasn't interested i think it took a minute for me to be comfortable with like my own body and like be comfortable with like the idea of being with someone else while naked once i graduated then i was like oh man it has to be with someone like super special and now it's gotten to the point where i'm like i gotta know you a little bit mm -hmm. and we're good so, so you're no longer attaching it to like the someone no. special no you're just waiting for like someone that you feel comfortable enough yeah. with yeah, the horny stick has been hitting me a little too much. So. What does that mean? I don't know, sometimes you get the feeling you're just walking around and you're like, fuck, I'm horny right now. Oh. <laughs> I'm also kind of excited to get it over with. Oh. Not, like, I'm kind of tired of being a virgin. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of like, fuck, I'm so a virgin. Y'all heard her, she's tired. <laughs> Best of luck to you, girl. Thank it's you. fun, you know, Thank you. like when you That's find. You're <laughs> yeah. I'm very excited. I said you're not a virgin. And you're not a virgin. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm telling you something about those nails. That is not virgin nails. These are virgin nails. <laughs> those are virgin nails. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Are you a partier? I am a partier. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit. I'll I'm retired. This. I'm retired. Oh, that's what they all say. She's retired. But retirement ends every Friday night at 5:30 p.m. Talk How to old him. were you when you lost it? Talk I to was him. a sophomore in college. Oh, you yeah. waited a while. Was oh, she was like 19, was 20. Okay. How was it though? It was good though. That's all I was like saying. Yeah. yeah. Right? Don't worry. Like, yeah, it's a good time. No, I don't regret it at all. And good. It was chill and I didn't have any expectation of who I wanted it to be either. Exactly. Okay. That's good. I think that's positive though. Sex is fun though. You know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Talk, to me. Me. Talk to him. Talk to him. The mustache. So I guess the mustache is not laying down the pipe. <laughs> no. So you are a virgin? I am, yeah. So why are you a virgin? Is it because, you know, religious beliefs or just personal beliefs that you- Probably not, bro. I feel like most niggas in, that are like 19, 20, if you're actively waiting, you're a different type of nigga, bro. Like either your sex drive is fairly low or you're just a different and and you haven't like if you've had sex before and then you decide like right, I'm gonna wait. That's different. That's different. But pre I feel like you just a different type of nigga then. If you ain't never had none and you like nah I'm just gonna wait, you a different type of nigga, bro. You one of them ones, you're the chosen one. You kind of want to wait until someone's special, you know? Yeah, uh, I'd say definitely both. I definitely grew up very, like, religious. I also just think I'm a very uh, emotionally invested person, and I don't know how that would go over, so I just don't think I'm ready yet for that. Do you masturbate? Uh, yes. <laughs> what do you like to watch? I don't usually watch You don't anything. watch? No. What are you thinking about? I'm uh, more of a... That's a good question. What are you thinking about, nigga? That's a good question. What are you what are you thinking about? Because you've never had sex and you're not watching anything. So if you had sex before, then you could go back to those moments and wooty woo. But what the hell are you thinking about? Uh invested in the story. What then, story? You know, you gotta create you gotta create things in your head. I feel him though. I feel like, him. Like, Can I just hear a quick snippet of talk a story? Talk to her. Talk to her. Talk to give her a good story. Talk to her. You know, I don't know. This is getting weird. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. Bro, don't do that. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Tell her. Tell her. Don't be like that. <laughs> I think some people use their imagination, and that's what yeah. you're... Yeah. I have no imagination. Because you don't play Dungeons and Dragons. Mmm. <laughs> hold on. He talking to... Yeah, he talking to... I think that's the disconnect. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Right, so, is anybody here secretly a porn star? <laughs> um, no, but Luke might be someday. <laughs> Do you like to play lineup at home? Well, good news. That was actually hilarious. I had a great time. How long was that video? I don't know.